foodies and welcome to my kitchen and my show. Today we are going to do something that I did not know, even know existed. It's called beef chorizo. Now, I always thought chorizo was an, uh, a, a Spanish sausage. Apparently there is both Spanish and Mexican versions. Uh, the Spanish version is completely cooked so you can literally just take the sausage and slice and eat it or you can continue to cook it and do things. The Mexican version is usually made out of pork and the chorizo type seasonings. You can look it up, I actually did because I was dumbfounded that this was a possibility. Um, one of the problems with chorizo as a sausage is it's a little bit greasy and some people have a little bit of problem with that. Um, so when Piggly Wiggly, oh, that's right, you guys know, Steinbrink's Piggly Wiggly is our meat sponsor. Uh, I use the Delvin location, but they do have four locations. They created a Trezo Angus beef rub uh, beef chunks. I bought a couple packages. I actually bought three of them. The most prevalent way to cook these is with scrambled eggs. It's a very big breakfast item uh, in, in Mexico. But we're not going to do that. We're going to cook this for dinner. It's not hard. This was made two days ago, so it's been marinating in, in, the, in the rub for two days. So it's absolutely going to be perfect. All you need is a frying pan and olive oil. That's it. Um, you also need something to, to put with it. So what I'm going to do today, using a pastoroni dish called Parmesan cheese, I'm going to use two boxes of this because I'm using two packages of the meat. This is going to make a great meal for four people. Technically, it should be enough for only two, uh, you know, one box should be enough for four people. But obviously, we're big people. We don't eat just small portions. So here's how simple it is. You don't even need the lid. You just take that off. Pour a little bit of oil, olive oil, right in the middle. And turn the heat on. As usual, when you're doing meat, you usually want medium to medium high. Currently, I am literally between medium and medium high, so um, it's not an official setting, but it's it, it will work. Let the oil get a little warm. At this point, I already saved some time because we're doing the video. While this is warming up, you can get your pot ready. The instructions are on the back of the boxes. You do not need to use this. You could make your own pasta. You could use rice, anything you want. Um, but this is the meal that I'm making. It's going to be honest. This is going to work out really good. The reason I chose this, chorizo is a little bit spicy. It's not a lot spicy, it's a mild spice. So the Parmesan cheese uh, with the noodles, I think will, will work really well because you're going to be blending this together. So um, they'll complement each other. So what I did, it required one and a third cups of water and two thirds cup of milk per box. So I already doubled it up and stuck it in the pot here. Um, the meat's going to take 10 minutes to cook. The noodles and everything, five so we're going to start cooking the meat first now this is heated up enough that the oil is ready it's pretty simple you just drop the meat right in okay doo, 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 doo. oops you can see the tree so spices um Break it up a little bit because obviously they're still stuck together. Okay. Unfortunately, I only have one spoon trivet. Since this is a lot messier than the noodles are going to be, I'm going to use it for this and I'll just set the spoon down here. Okay. We're just going to cook this. Um, we're not going to sit here and watch because 10 minutes of watching me stir this is going to be kind of silly. This is all there is to it. Since it's all pre-made, you know, you know me, I like doing these fast ones in the summertime. I finally have a little bit more time. I was going to do a little bit longer show today, um, but I this was on sale and I had to try it. And this is going to be fast. So what we're going to do is um, I'll come back when the meat is about done and this is about done and show you how you finish it up. But literally, it's just a matter of cooking the meat. Figure 10 minutes, that's it. Um, stirring it occasionally so that you know, you're know you not burning anything. Um, if it looks like you're running low on oil, you could always add a little bit more oil. 
doesn't hurt it and you don't want to put too much because you don't want this to be greasy. The other reason why you're using the olive oil is it won't be as greasy as if you use lard. In Mexico, lard is the preferred uh, grease to cook in. Trust me, it tastes really good that way, but it's not as healthy. So we're using the olive oil. As a matter of fact, it looks like it's a little light on the one end here, so I'm gonna add a little bit right now. Pretty simple. That's it. So we'll come back in a little bit, and we'll show you how good this looked. Welcome back, Fun Guys Foodies. We're at that point. I've got the heat going on the, uh, on the milk and water concoction ready to go. This should be ready in just a few minutes. Uh, we'll stir the meat. You can look at this. It looks like it's just about done. Um, the uh, I, I should have started the the pasta stuff a little earlier because the meat is done, and this is going to take five minutes. So we'll pour the noodle, uh, the pasta noodles in here. These are really really thin angel hair type pasta noodles. Um, I'm going to turn down this. A little bit let it keep simmering that way it stay you know it gets tender this is really simple this just has to boil on medium normally you drop down the simmer I'm going to go to actually medium low not quite to a simmer because with the milk in here I know it's going to foam up so this is only going to take four minutes and then you turn off the heat and you let it sit for another two to four minutes so that the sauce thickens up so this is about done also we're going to let this cook a little bit slower I wanted to mention a couple of things real quick while we're doing this. We have a uh, Hootie and the Blowfish concert coming up. If the weather cooperates, I'm going to try to do the cooking show at the Hootie and the Blowfish concert. I think that'll be a lot of fun. It's not going to be quite as much of a zoo as Dave Matthews Band or Fish or Buffett was. Uh, as you probably saw if you've been also watching our show, What Happens to the World Today, which we're looking for a new name, by the way. So check that out. Look for What Happens to the World Today. You can see that off of my, my uh, page here. Check out our show. Look at the mud and the water at the Jimmy Buffett concert that we were working in. We got like two inches of rain right before the concert. Well, see, look, it's just boiling over. I knew that was going to happen. So I'm just going to turn it all the way down and almost simmer. That should work out pretty good because uh, milk, when it burns on the stove, is a mess to clean up. So that's why I don't normally let it get to that point. Oh, I probably should have put the timer on. I don't have the timer here, so let's just do this. Four minutes, there we go. Okay, back to what I was saying. So we had all that rain and stuff. The fish concert, 98 degrees and 76 dew point. It was disgusting. And of course, if you watch any of my shows like the Zach Brown concert last year, you can see my six foot commercial gr uh, grill that I'm cooking. That grill cooks at about 600 degrees right up into my face because there's no vents on the bottom. All that heat goes straight up to me. Um, it was kind of interesting because I'm just, I literally drink a full gallon of water and two bottles of tea and four bottles of soda in the six hours that I'm there. It, that's how hot and uh, insane it gets. But anyway, let's get back to this real quick. Yeah, see, this is all done. We're, um, I decided to use the lid so that it didn't make such a mess because uh, as you can see, a little bit of orange splatter. Chorizo, um, because of the paprika and the, the, the peppers and stuff like that, has this rich orange color to it, which of course will stain. So I decided to put the lid on there. Not only that, it's keeping the moisture in here and keeping the meat from drying out. I don't want the meat to get dried out. Um, this is going really good. So what I'm going to do, Hey, look, my wife's here. Say hi to my wife, everyone. Yay! She's gonna be like, oh, I hate being on your show. Hi, cat. Coming in or not? Oh, yes, the cat got out to chase something. Well, chasing one in. Yes. Here. So, anywho, um, I'll be back uh, when I'm all done, because this is it. What we're gonna do is, is I'm going to make a, I'll do it when it's done. I'll come back and show you the finishing touches. All right, Fun Guys Foodies. Everything's ready, so we're back to finish up the show. Um, I made a mistake. I got interrupted when my wife came home. When I was boiling the pasta, I was supposed to put the packages of the spices in there right away. Unfortunately, I didn't do it till later, so that's why, the, well, you can't tell. There's a little bit more of a delay. I had to put it in there and let it sit for another four minutes. Uh, but now it's ready, so it's really, really nice. Look at this. See this? This was like soup. Now it's cooked the way it should be. 
And of course, as you can see, the meat is perfect. So, what you're gonna wanna do is you're gonna want a spoon that has holes in it. Should have had that out already. Okay, where is my spoon with holes? Interesting, it appears to be missing. Ah, there it is. Okay, and you're going to want a pasta server. So take your plate, drop your scoop of pasta right in the middle. Okay, spread it out. So it looks like this. And then let the, the, the sauce drain. You don't want too much. You don't want to lose all of it, of course, because that's flavor. All right. That's it. That's all there is to it. This is the meal. This is going to be so good. It is beef chorizo, all right, beef chorizo with Parmesan noodles. Fast one, as usual. Love the fast ones in the summertime. So remember, like, subscribe, and share. Please pass this on. We need more people. I actually have somebody who's talking about another big sponsorship, somebody from my cookware, well, with the uh, cast iron that I've been wanting to do, which will be perfect comes wintertime when I have more time to cook some longer processed stuff. Um, but I need more people. So please, please, please share this. With every, you know, Put it on your own site. You know how to do it. It's, it's not that hard. All right, I appreciate it. I hope you had a good time. And uh, I'm Fun Guy the Entertainer, cooking for you.